Hey, thanks for coming. Today I wanted to talk about a trend that everybody is seeing but haven't put it into a spiritual context. And to give you a little reference, people have, sages have seen this coming for hundreds of years. The best exponent that I have seen on this is Sri Yukasar, who was the guru of Yogananda. He wrote a book called The Holy Science. I think it's out of print now, but I think it's available in used bookstores or on Amazon. If you have trouble finding it, let me know. Anyway, in The Holy Science, Yukasar made the point that there, besides the great yugas, where you have, of which we are supposed to be in the shortest one, the Kali Yuga, that there is also a smaller cycle of yugas, shorter in length. And he made a compelling argument by saying that it started in the 1750s with steam engines. And that trend has continued to today. And you see, he's talking about it, the shift from the, the, Cal, the short Kali Yuga to the, the short Satya Yuga. That's where the dramatic change comes. And you see things like the extension of life. You see the uh, living longer. You see the invention of the steam engine, the telephone, the all these things are magnification of the senses in some way, or your physical abilities. The train would go 60 miles an hour, and a horse and buggy would go five, a man would walk at five, and uh, so that was an extension of the physical ability. Okay, then we had the automobile that could go to further distances. And over it didn't have to require such a, a group energy. You could have one person that could drive the car. In the, you needed the train tracks and the uh, uh, built by many, many, many thousands of people. You needed uh, things. With the, with the car, you could go over untracked areas. So a big difference. Then we had telephony. Tele means to speak over a distance. Uh, television to see over a distance. So you see that there there is a trend to go from physical extensions to sensual extensions to mental extensions, sort of finer and finer. The computer is an assist to the mind. Okay. The, there are eight major superpowers or cities. One is to become as heavy as you want. One is to become as light as you want. One is to become as small as you want. One is to become as large as you want. Okay. One is to reach everywhere, anywhere. And we see that with robots, that now a CEO can go into a room and be hooked up to a machine that essentially goes over to another country into a factory they have over there and the, the CEO can walk around on this robot inspect things and talk to people okay so they do this at a distance you have the predator drones that are going out in flying over Afghanistan and shooting bombs at 
terrors from these drones, these predator drones. And they do it 12,000 miles away in the United States. So that's an extension of that ability to reach anywhere. I have a prop here. This is a cell phone. It sees things. It telephones. It does functions of the computer. Okay. These are all the mechanization of these super abilities. Nanotechnology. Okay, to do things on a very small scale means that you have to be able to get down to that scale. We don't do it by getting smaller, we get assistance that help us to get smaller to do these things. Okay? So this is in line with Shri Yukteswar's writings and, and belief that we're going into a different age. 500 years from now, we may not need these things. People are talking about doing implants and all these other things. It may just be possible that we will have evolved at that point beyond the need for crops. Okay. So how does this affect your life, this trend? Okay. Well, we can see that we're going into what's called cloud computing, where we do on the internet all the computing that we would do on a personal computer or a phone. The intent of all this is to provide you with information so that you don't have to spend money or not as much money on to get the same effect or to know something. So this is actually going to save a lot of resources. And I was just looking at the stock market today. One of the largest trucking companies in the world has now got shares that are only worth 23 cents a share. And I was, uh, I was thinking of going back, and I'm sure it was much higher just even two years ago. So, that the ability to communicate through time and space saves gasoline, saves wear and tear on cars and trucks. I just wanted to give you some information about this trend, encourage you to go read the book, The Holy Science by Sri Yukteswar, and to think about your spiritual place in the world that is coming. Thank you.